In today's video, I'm going to be putting this hamburger picture into Minecraft. I am so freaking hungry right now. So let's do a slash create and then I'll be putting this picture right here and then I'll put it through my Discord AI, uh, Tripo. So Tripo allows uh, images to be converted into 3D models and also text as well. You can also do this on their website, tripleai.com and the result will be exactly the same. But I'm gonna be using my Discord server because it is literally right here. So I'm gonna be um, clicking a view draft and this will open a web page. Just like this and wow, that looks pretty decent. Wow, I am so freaking hungry. I am about to die. All right, so let's go to the bottom right side of the screen and download it. This button right here, download. And this should be downloading it to your computer. 3D model and there we go we just got the model 8 GLB so I'm gonna go to this website called OBJ to schematic and I'll just choose the website I mean the the, the model that I just downloaded which is this one uh, and then I'm gonna be loading it to mesh and as you see we got this freaking hamburger and this 3D model viewer I am so freaking hungry oh my goodness so you don't gotta worry about this one um, for this one, I'll like keep it below 48 because 48 is the maximum size for structure blocks in Minecraft. Yes, we're gonna be using structure blocks. So you don't gotta download any crazy, uh, crazy mods or stuff like that. So I'm gonna do this so it converts everything into, um, voxelized mesh or basically Minecraft blocks. And then I will, uh, assign blocks for every single pixel in this model, alright? This looks so freaking good. Oh. Uh, yeah, there we have it. So I'm gonna um, play around with this a little bit more. So it's looking better. Oh, that looks like it's molded. Let's go back here. There we go. So that, that looks pretty good. This is actually pretty freaking insane. And then um, for the exporter, make sure to select MBT, structure blocks, uh, dot MBT, this one. And then I'll be clicking I'm going to be clicking export structure and it's going to be downloading it in this file right here. So I'm going to open this real quick. It has four structure blocks. This is not good. It's just too many. So if that happens, just uh, make this smaller. 35. And there we have it. We only have one file. So I'm going to change this uh, file name to whatever I want. I'm hungry. And then we're gonna go to a new tab and do slash, I mean, percentage app data, this, and uh, we're gonna click Minecraft. And actually before that, I'm gonna make a new world or you can use your old world if you want. So uh, I'm gonna make this uh, named ASDF, I'm hungry. And then I'll make it a super flat world because just what I like. And then uh, do slash, give ls structure block. The reason why you're gonna do this is because you're gonna make uh, a folder named generated in your Minecraft world file. So I'm gonna make this structure uh, and then, so I'm gonna name it as ss structure side, uh, size anything, save, bam, and then quit the title and go back to your folder, your file explorer. And you're gonna go to saves and go to the world that you just created uh, and then go to generated Minecraft structures and there we have it. So go to download, um, copy this and paste it here. There we go. That's it. And then you're gonna go to your world once again and go to structure block and then type in a name. I'm hungry. Load. Uh, and then load. There we have it. We have just created the freaking hamburger in Minecraft. If you want the hamburger to be just one block, like let's just say a uh, sandstone, then just unselect everything like this and then choose the sandstone and you can make the hamburger made of just one single block, just like this. And also, just an FOI, uh, if you import a model and if it is like somewhat uh, not straight, then it's gonna cause problems. Check this out. It's gonna do this. It looks ugly as heck. 
So to um, fix this, you're gonna um, basically rotate the model. So let's do 20, uh, the Y axis, because Y axis is kind of messed up. So let's do 20 and uh, it is pretty much straight. There we go. And everything is pretty much straight here and straight here as well. So I'm gonna do a uh, Fox Lives Mesh and it looks pretty decent. It looks pretty good. There we go. Yeah, there we have it.